It's a little known fact that monarch butterflies are endangered. Also commonly forgotten their purpose as pollinators and a vital food source for small animals. Now with the help of family and some very pretty flowers, one lady in Lebeau is working to save these beautiful creatures. Monarchs are the orange, black, and white creatures you probably picture first when you think of a butterfly. I think they're beautiful, first of, first of all, and they help the environment, and um, they're really the king of the butterflies. That's why they're named monarchs. But their main food source, called milkweed, is dying out, and therefore so are the monarchs. Milkweed would grow wild everywhere around here, in the fields and stuff, and the farmers that's a weed, so the farmers didn't want that when they planted their crops, so they would spray the insecticide and it killed all the milkweed. This is where Wanda Steli comes in, making it her mission to save the butterflies. She started off with one milkweed plant that her sister-in-law dropped off, then she was hooked. This is what happened. I ended up with a bunch of milkweed, and so every year the butterflies come and the females lay on the milkweed, and I take them and put them in a cage, and and I raise them. They grow from this to this, and when they get big enough, they go up and they hang themselves like this. They spin themselves into the chrysalis. And when they emerge? Come here, baby. Steli lets them spread their wings and fly. It's like a commitment to take care of them and all, but once you see your first butterfly go, you're hooked. And that's what happened to me. I didn't think I would do that, but Last year I let out uh, 253, I think, and so far this year I have let out 215. So I will do I will do well over probably 300 this year. If you're now itching to raise monarchs too, plant the milkweed; they will come, and hopefully they'll land a home as sweet as Wanda Stelly's. In Lebeau, Abby Breidenbach, KATC TV3. Oh my gosh, that was so cute. I am still obsessed with Wanda and. With the butterflies. Yeah. She actually, she's so sweet. She offered me a milkweed plant. I didn't take it because I live in an apartment now. Right. But the second I have a yard or a patio, I'm getting some milkweed. Yeah, I think it's really awesome. And I mean, you were saying that, I mean, you've learned a lot from just visiting with her. Yes. You know, about the butterflies and stuff, which is really cool. I know. And they seem so easy, I mean, so easy to grow. Mm -hmm. and, and they're pretty. Those cages are like 10 bucks. She said milkweed is pretty cheap. I mean, I think we should all try to save the butterflies. I don't know. <laughs> we should. I have milkweed in my house. You, you do? do? So does Daniel. Yeah. Do you guys have a lot of butterflies? Oh my gosh. We had a lot earlier. We had eggs. I haven't seen any cocoons just yet, though. If you get a cage and save the eggs from the plants, mm -hmm. then they're more likely to ah, survive. I got gotcha. you. We had a lot of butterflies last year, and we had uh, several. Yeah. Little, what, a chrysalis? Is that what they call them? Yes. Yes. I love that. I, I think know. I have a picture of one Your that I know. That. I think that's what I was just thinking to myself. I probably should like do that because I think they would enjoy it. I hope everyone watching is excited as excited as we are about the Abby, butterflies. Abby, if, if you guys are looking for Abby, she'll probably be going back to Laveau. She's <laughs> like, just going to go back over there. Her farm is so pretty. I might just, yeah. yeah. Just,